Hello everyone, this is simultaneous linear equations using substitution method. In my last video, I solved this question using elimination method. So, in solving substitution method, we need to form equation 3 from either equation 1 or 2. So, let's go for the first one. From the first one, from equation 1, from 1, I have 2x minus y equals minus 2. So, to solve this, it is either we make x a subject of the formula or y as a subject of our formula. So I think it's better we choose y because of the coefficient is 1. So it's easier with the one with coefficient 1. So I can decide to take this over there to become y. Then I will make minus 2 to come over, which is 2x. So it's changing sign because of equality sign becoming positive 2 here. So y equals 2x plus 2. So this method is going to help you to understand it very well. It's a very nice method. The first one we chose to form equation 3, you take it, it has gone. We are not going back there. So it's easier to solve this substitution method using this method of ticking. So we, have, we, we chose this to form equation 3. So we will now go back and pick the one we are yet to pick, which is equation 2. That is, this is going in there. So we are going to plug this in into this equation 2 that is 5x plus y equals 16 so y is becoming this immediately so we are changing this our y to be this it's coming in so we have 5x plus then the y that's 2x plus 2 and the reason is going to be plus this because there are two terms because you do this if it is minus so that you don't run into trouble so we have plus opening bracket won't change anything anyway so you still have this Okay, so this and this becomes 7x. Seven, seven then we take 2 to the other side. That make it 16, as in 2 coming here, that's negative 2. That's 14. That's 14. So, that dividing both sides by 7. Dividing both sides by 7. 7x seven equals 14. We divide both sides by 7. Let me divide here a bit. So, we have over 7 over 7. So our x equals 2. Now we have we have picked equation 1 and 2. We are not going back there. This is how you operate in this method, the way I, I normally do, as in the way I normally explain to students. This is the best way to do it. You chose one, you, cho you go for the one you are yet to pick, which is equation 2. After picking that, the next one we are picking is 3. The 3 we formed. So that is the third one, the last one we are picking. So we are also putting this in there. So we write y equals 2x plus 2 as in the equation 3 then you put in x as 2 that is 2 times x as in 2 times x that's 2x 2 times our x is 2 then you copy this you copy this so we have y equals 4 plus 2 which is 6 and that is the end of that so y is um x is 2 y is 6 in my previous uh, video if you check the elementary method i used as i got the same answer so that's how to solve it any method you go for, we still give you the same answer. In coordinate form, remember I thought I talked about that in my last video. X is two, Y is six in alphabetical order. So if you are solving A and B stuff, that means you write A first, comma then B. That's how to go about it. P comma Q like that. Q comma R in alphabetical order because of um like um Neko question ERC most especially in um. S3, even SS, SS3, you can see it in the option as this something, comma, something as in coordinate form. So you make sure you put them in um, coordinate form in alphabetical order. Thank you. Watch out for my next video.